Hello guys, welcome to part 43 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the Nintendo 64, and this is Final Game of Dark Time. We saw in the last part we finally beat the Great Bay Temple, stopped the Orc, got the Third Guardian, and now we unlock the one thing that we managed to get just by beating Great Bay Temple. This. This little mini game is the only thing that you made different. Really, that, that's all. That's the bad news. The good news is, at least you get a hard piece of it. Plus, it makes some progress in the game, so it's nice. I mean, as long as I beat the Don Hero side quest, I don't have to come back to the Temple again. Ever, 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 ever. Epa! That's not this tree. There's only way I can get up there. That's it. Now I got it. Hey, it's a fisherman at the seahorse. Now that the seas are back to normal, I've started a little business aimed at tourists. If you pay 20 rubies, I'll invite you to a jumping game that has a really big prize. If you're up for it, go to that island in the center. Okay, so wheelchair people need not apply. Light the torches in a particular order, you gotta jump on the island with the torch. Get at least 20 or more points, you can get a prize. And if you fall in the water, you gotta start over. Simple enough, right? I mean, it's not really a complicated concept. You just jump from island to island. I'll be sure to adjust your camera so you know what one is lit. I mean, you don't fail if you land on the wrong island. All you do is just miss out on the point. That's all. And if you get 20, you don't even have to try anymore. Even if you get 20 or more points, like say you got like 50 and then you fall down at the last second, you don't get the prize. You gotta start all the way over. Even jumping to his island, where the fisherman is, you gotta start over. Yeah, it's kinda screwy that you have to wait for time to expire. That sucks. So once I get 20 points, I'm gonna stop trying. And luckily I'm five away. I wish this camera had a much higher overhead view, but I don't know what you can do with Nintendo. They do a great job, they can't get every single detail right. But they can still make great games. Okay, that's 20. I'll meet you right back when time expires. Wow, that took longer than I thought, but finally time is up, and, well, you get to score. Which, of course, is 20. Uh oh, that was a little too easy. Oh, here's your prize. Yeah, I got three hard pieces for that one. Aww, oh, poor you. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to play the Ocarina because I got some frogs to find. I'll meet you over at Cloud Town. Actually, I just might as well go there on fish. Because not that far. So yeah, one of the frogs is in the laundry pool of Cloud Town. Pretty easy to find. The other three will require a little bit more of a step in order to get there. I mean, it's nothing that you can't handle. So yeah, let's get one of them first. We already got the one in Great Bay Temple, which is good. It's good to get that one out of the way. Because that one's annoying because you have to fight that stupid mini boss deep into the temple and then you gotta like whip out the mask. Of course I can't do this with Zora Link, I have to be regular Link so I can pop this mask on. Whoops, I meant to talk to you. Okay, he's going to say the same thing the other frog did. So yeah, I'll meet you back at uh, Woodfall Temple, okay? Okay, to get the frog in Woodfall Temple, you gotta go over here where you fight Gecko, which I believe is here in the map. Like, you see where it's flashing on the first floor where you get the boss key? That's where the frog is. So you go talk to him, send him on his way, and luckily you just play the Song of Soaring. You can go all the way to fight Adolva again, which is what you need to do to get the frog over in the southern swamp. Luckily, if you beat a boss, just go over to the altar where you see that face of Majora's mask, 
you don't fight the boss right away, so I'll see you there at the swamp. Okay, the frog and sound are swamp. Once you eat a dole well, you can actually go through this part of the water. Past the potion shop, just keep going up the it. It's on a log, you can't miss it, just go over here and you'll be fine. I prefer to go to that Zora Link, because if you go as regular Link, you're gonna start swimming through the water, and it takes a lot of time. Once you get to the log, you can take the mask off, put on Dongaro's mask, and then just send the frog on his way, just same as all the others. There we go. I'll talk to you. Blah, 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 I don't give a fuck. Okay, there's one more frog, and it's over in the mountain village, but we have to wait for spring. So I'll see you there once I get that taken care of. Okay, after going through Snowhead and beating Got or Goat again, I can finally go over here and talk to all the frogs that have gathered all in one place. I have been waiting for you, Don Gero. Forget I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. As you can see, Don Gero, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our course. How does Link orchestrate frogs? The conducting was spectacular, and all of our members rose to the occasion. This is how we deeply be removed by your spectacular conducting. Yeah, I got a heart piece out of it, which is always nice. Okay, now before I go to the next region, which, which is the Ikana region, there's one more thing I can get now that it's spring. Somewhere around here, there's a heart piece on the water. Well, not exactly on this screen, it's to the east of this screen. But only Zora Link can get it. You can't get it when there's still ice. Well, it's always nice to, like, get this out of the way first. Oh, it's so good. So let's get on there and get ourselves yet another heart piece. Let's go. Right over here. We have some money, too. But that doesn't look important. There we go. Perfect. Oh, skullfish. Hate you fuckers. Ah, uh, Link has... Zora Link has no traction. You see slopes. There, that takes care of them. Okay, let's head over to Clock Town, because that's the closest to Ikana region that I can think of. So, let's begin our trek over there. Actually, I'll do that in the next video, because I'm pretty much out of time. I'm going to show you a spiller by the time I get there, so see you later, everybody.